Well, there's a dire need for graduates in science and technology, engineering and math. Those are known as STEM programs. So local schools, they're using students' love for sports and for competition to attract them to those careers. CBS 46 Education reporter Ashley Martinez shows us how they're doing it. Sports and competition for many young children comes naturally. Combine that with science, technology, engineering, and math classes, otherwise known as STEM courses, and you have students like David Thompson. STEM is fun. Um, it's a more advanced, rigor environment, which I think will challenge my intellectual abilities to its fullest capacity, and that's what I really want in life, to be challenged. The battle David is facing isn't an easy one. For the past 10 years, minorities, especially women, have not made a significant progress in STEM-related careers. I realized that I enjoyed engineering and would like to be a chemical engineer, so it's helped me with that. We actually find that uh, minority and African-American men and women are actually very talented when it comes to these types of projects. It's just the exposure is not there. So local educators threw out some ideas and came up with a way to combine the two. Kids are so interested in sports and, and baseball and you know, we brought the artistic theme into it as well because they decorated their launchers. Launchers are pitching machines. To build them, students from 10 different area schools received the tools and materials back in December. Today was the time to test them at Georgia Tech. Students assembled everything, hoping to win and to throw the first pitch at tonight's Braves game. Being recognized for something positive as a black female is it's a wonderful thing. It was a wonderful thing for Christina Pratcher. Her teammates from Cooper Middle School in Austell because they won. I'm really proud and I promised I wasn't going to cry, but I'm so proud of all of their hard work. This is my first middle school competition and I'm glad I got to win it. Now the winning group has to determine who gets to actually throw the first pitch. In Atlanta, Astro Martinez, CBS 46 News. And we want to hear about the positive things happening in your community. Share your stories with us at CBS46.com. Just click on Positively Georgia under the CBS 46 Cares tab. CBS 46 News at 5 starts now. Right now, wet and 